What up, YouTubers? And it's time for another quick review of a movie. I saw Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, and this is my thoughts. The movie was good. Okay, I will admit that I was not the biggest fan of this movie. Once again, Jennifer Lawrence was very, very whiny and annoying as Katniss, but that's beside the point. So, let me explain this. This movie was good, okay? Any complaint I have with this movie, you don't have to share. Trust me. Um, but, I hate to say it, this movie wasn't that, that satisfying. It is, it was very predictable. Like, I knew when the deaths were coming, I knew what happened, and I hadn't even read the book. Let alone, I had things spoiled, but... Once again, you could have surprised me with when they were going to happen. You really could have. So, with the elephant out of the room for me, what else did I think? Not enough Hey Mitch. And President Snow was a pretty good villain, and President Coin failed as a villain a bit. Honestly, I don't think there's many signs that President Coin is doing that until the very end. When you find that out, you should have had tips scattered throughout. And the fact that Gale might have been the one who planned it, that's just another nail to the coffin. Now, I hear anybody who likes it out here. In fact, two of the people I saw the movie with both liked loved it. I liked it, it was good at the action parts. But, to be totally honest, like Mockingjay Part 1, which I do like a lot, I felt like a lot of the moments of this were fluff, which meant to spread out the story, because, you know what, let's have two box office successes again versus one. And that's the problem throughout the movie. The beginning is pretty much all fluff, I think, with them trying to help District 2. And then once they get into the team, their assault team, assault team we don't even get to see the men on the front lines. That, look, if you want to create a military movie like this, yes, it's a military movie, then I expect a little more effort. Overall, though, its action is great. And all the acting, save for Jennifer Lawrence, is pretty good. Um, it's not one of those big budget special effects films, I think, personally, because The Hunger Games are relatively more down to earth than most films. So, it, but, yeah, the filming was good, um, let's see what else. The sound was good. This is pretty much one of the more average films in the Hungry Games franchise. Never did it hit the highs of Catching Fire. So... On the Entertainment Lord rating scale, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching this review, and have a great day.